Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a swatch party video. I think somebody requested this when they saw me haul this palette. And uh, basically I need to stop buying eyeshadow palettes because I can, so I can review the stuff I actually have. But I thought I would film a swatch party video for you guys on the new Beauty Bakery Do It For The Gram eyeshadow palette. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay guys, this is my second eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bakery. I actually have the ice cream palette, which I've never swatched. It's in my collection, but again, it's like I need to do more review videos, but this one just recently came out and it says, our Do It For The Gram eyeshadow palette will have you begging, gimme gimme s'more with 12 foil matte and duochrome powdered ice cream shades. So very cute concept, I love like their little ice cream bakery theme even if you look at pictures of the beauty bakery store i don't know where it is but it's very like cute and girly so it does say it's cruelty free paraben free has a 12 month shelf life and it also has like a little recycle sign so i'm thinking you can like recycle this palette and then on the front here it says it's a net weight of 2.8 grams 0.1 ounces per every shadow so that's really cool and here is the grand reveal this is what the shades look like it does not have a mirror it does come with a protective film like that but here are the shades very basic very neutral but again I don't know why guys I just feel like I need to try all the indie brands so I picked up this palette so without further blabbering I'm gonna get into swatches doesn't look like these shades have names so I don't have any names to give you, but let me go ahead and swatch the first row here. This is definitely like a very neutral row. The shimmer shade has a beautiful rose gold like effect. So here are the first swatches of the Do It For The Gram palette. And if you guys want to see a closer look, just pause the video because sometimes people complain saying I swatched too fast and this, that, and the other. But you guys, it's YouTube. You can pause the video. I'm looking for, a, oh, I was looking for some makeup wipes. <laughs> but you can pause the video. Like nobody's trying to stop you from looking at the shades. Just pause the video and look at them closer if you need to. This isn't like a professional swatch service. I just like to swatch palettes for you guys. So you can at least get a closer idea of what the shades look like, especially on tan skin, before you purchase them. So these are nice and soft, not like overly creamy. This is the next row, really beautiful. It's like a beautiful blue purple shade, a nice bronze shade. This yellow I'm getting a little sick of because I feel like it's in every single palette. It was, It's even in the new Pat McGrath palette, so I wish makeup brands would stop coming out with that shade because I feel like we've seen it everywhere now and it's a little bit redundant at this point. And now I'm going to swatch the last row. Here are what the shades look like. It's a little bit more of a smoky row. Ooh, these are pretty. So that is the last four shades. There's two duochromes and then a beautiful like red shade and a nice bronze shade. So here are the 12 shades from the Do It For The Gram eyeshadow palette by Beauty Bakery. And I do believe this brand is owned by a woman and it is also a woman of color. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like I read somewhere that she was like a single mom that started this brand and now she's like really successful. So that's always really cool to support, you know, brands that are doing big things. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these swatches. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I will have a review up for you guys as soon as I can. And thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day. Bye guys.